Well, it's been a while. I keep getting asked this. People want to know how did I do the fully set up um, voice thing. So this is how. I have ultimate A on my watch. Golf time. And that starts that. So as you're watching that, what's happening is a switch bot on the SkyTrack is turning is turning on. I have a switch bot on my computer, which is up in the ceiling. Watch my other video as you can see all of that. This is just gonna be something to show you guys the programming that kind of went into it. And hopefully it's a good enough explanation. I'm a terrible teacher. A lot of times I don't even know how I do what I do. It just kind of, I, it, I just follow step by step until I find the solution. Anyway, the SwitchBot also has a hub, which is an IR blaster. So it can control like TVs and this and that. So it also controls the projector. So now that that is on, that will wait for me. I don't have to type anything in right now, but when I type in the code for golf, you can have different profiles. You can have your golf profile because I use um, a task scheduler, not Windows Startup. So my files don't start running until that is task scheduler starts up. So now I could get rid of the password and it would go all the way through, but I don't really, I don't want to do that. So now what's going to happen, am I in the way of that camera now? Yeah. So now what's going to happen, it's going to load up. You'll see GS Pro open up in the task scheduler. It's going to get clicked on. Say, clicks on play. Now, in the auto hotkey file now, that is going to open up your SkyTrack connector. Now, again, depending on what launch monitor you have, you have to adjust all this. So I have this on as quick as I can, but with a little bit of, of wait time so it doesn't screw up. Because I have people that come in here and they follow the directions on the door when I'm not home and they, they can just do everything without without any screw ups, it just works. And if it doesn't, they shut it down and do again and it works. So now it clicks in the upper right hand corner to kind of get away. Then it clicks on practice. Now it goes in the driver range. And as you can see, the SkyTrack is connected. So now we are connected, ready to shoot balls. So you grab your appropriate sized seven iron. You hit, and away you go. So you can be doing that. You can be doing, like getting your, you know, it's like, oh, it takes forever. Well, you don't have to do it. You just come in, you tell her what to do, and then you get your shoes on. You take your coat off in the winter. You know, you get, you get all ready. You stretch out, whatever you need to do. Eventually, the reason I didn't want to make this video right away was I wanted to add more to it, but... I got so much else going on. You can see I've been painting the floor. I've been putting um, wheels on all of my equipment so I can move it around. I also painted my basement, hardlined my sump. This I've been gone for two weeks for AT. So I get distracted by a lot of stuff. You know, things that are more fun in that way. So Let's bring you in to the, the code and I'll kind of show you how everything works. Don't know how much I'm going to go into what it is. I can teach you some, some of the basics. I don't know. I'm really, things just kind of happen in my brain and it works. Let's, let's see what I teach you. We'll figure it out. All right. I hope you can see good enough on the other screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to alt enter so what i have is an auto hotkey this is right here oh it's already running yeah we don't nope uh don't run it again 
exit. Okay, I didn't want that to run again. This is the basis of it. So this is put into my task scheduler. GS Pro launch and the auto hotkey is put into a task scheduler. Now, what this is going to do is when the computer opens up to this specific profile, that task scheduler is going to open GS Pro and then it's going to run this auto hotkey file. GS Pro is going to open and then these, it's going to do a series of clicks. It's going to sleep. It's going to, so wait 20, 20 seconds and it's going to click, which is on your screen. You can see I kind of, I've changed it around because it's, it's resolution dependent, which is why I haven't really made the video. You got to, you have to be able to oops, um, find your screen clicks. I do have a video on that. So again, go watch that on like how to make drop ball stuff with your GS Pro. That will tell you like how to do the mouse clicks. That's also on my website, um, the auto hotkey. I will put this on my website, but I'll probably just put this like in the comments or description or something. I'm not, just so you don't have to download it from my website. You can if you want. So what this is doing, it's clicking there, it's waiting, and then it's waiting 15 seconds and it's gonna open up your SkyTrack connector app. Whatever connector app you have, if if you have a natively supported device, it might even be easier than this. So you won't have to do that. Um, again, like it's, I'm trying to explain it. I'm not good at explaining it, but hopefully the people that want to do this can, you know, learn and do it. Use chat GPT, Copilot, whatever. It helps a lot with kind of narrowing this stuff down. It's not, a silver bullet you really have to talk and massage and know your own stuff so anyway it opens my sky track connector i'll just talk on how i do it and you can go from there so then it waits and then it does the series of clicks in order to click me into a driving range so i have that um i can also use voice attack and i can just say sod grass and it'll like go and like actually bring me into like DPC Sawgrass or Scottsdale. Like I can say that that can be another video if you're interested. But this is just a video on a point to people as they want to do stuff. So now we'll get you in the task scheduler. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and see I have GS Pro Start. You're gonna create task. It's been a while since I did it. And you can do all these triggers and actions. Again, there's videos out there on how to do this stuff. I'm just telling you how I did it. So watch like videos on task schedule, how to set a task scheduler that starts up when you sign into a specific profile. Like, like let's say the kids wanna come out and they just wanna watch movies. They're gonna sign into a different profile that won't automatically start my simulator up. So again, task scheduler, and that's how you get it. If you put it in your Windows startup, the second you turn your computer on, it's going to start running that in the background and you're going to be too late by the time you sign in. So a task scheduler kind of says, hey, don't do this until I've signed in the password. You know, if someone comes in and says they want to play and then takes her shoes off and BSs and forgets to put in the password, it's not going to screw up and they have to do it again because it won't run. So I also have this. I'll go into this a little bit because it's kind of a fun thing. So using auto hotkey and voice attack. And maybe I'll put this out too. I'll have to email him to myself, and get him on. But let's do voice attack. I don't want to register, I don't need to.
All right, so I have this profile. Um, let's see. I think here we can go sim menu. Okay, so that takes me back. Now let's say I want to play a game, I can do, uh, I don't know what I named some of these. This why Scottsdale. Okay, so it clicks on it. And then it's gonna type it in, and then it's gonna play, and it's gonna take me right to that course without having to do anything. I just tell it what to do. Now I can do this with, you know, shot cam and all that too. Um, I like my box because people don't remember what, you know, the words to use and stuff. So a lot of this voice stuff is just kind of for shits and giggles. Fast forward, hopefully this, this goes in a minute. All right, we're in. So, and I can still do it too, like if we're done, we can do a sim menu. So again, this is that. This here is a combination of auto hotkey and voice attack. Um, in order to do sim menu, in order to do those clicks, it wasn't doing it right. It didn't have like the proper, it couldn't like actually click the, the auto hotkey or the, the voice attack didn't have the permissions even when I ran it as an administrator. So I just created that auto hockey file that when I click X, it does all that. Don't really know how to explain any of it. It's weird. Um, so we can do <clears throat> sod grass. Sod grass. So it, you know, I made it so it clicks, so it highlights it, types it in, and that's all very basic voice attack stuff. That's nothing special. This, that's not anything crazy. So don't think like I'm cheating or doing anything. It's literally an extremely basic function of voice attack that I just combined with auto hotkey and, and I'm doing it. So Maybe one day when I get better at YouTube videos and explaining stuff, I can, you know, when I do, like, because I want this to raise, my net to raise and lower as well. When I say, like, hey, I want, you know, my shop. I want, you know, I want to go, I want to putt. I want all this to go up and then like lights turn on and this is my putting green. I want to be able to say shop time and then, you know, the air compressor will turn on you know, my my shop will just kind of get itself ready to be used in woodworking or metalworking or whatever. It'll just be ready. So now we're in here. So now when you're done, you know, and I can do, I can use the A word, I'm not gonna say it, piss people off. So I have her on my watch. Oh, that's Bixby. We are done golfing. Thank you for playing. Please clean up your used golf tees and golf balls from the simulator area. Yeah. So I have league here. Let me turn the light on. So now what's happening, you saw that clicks, that clicks. Now the projector, since you have to hit it twice, it doesn't shut down. I just put it on. Hey, if you don't have, let me shut that off. If you don't have a signal for two minutes, shut down. So that works for that. I also have Alexa, I also have her, you know, say that, hey, just clean up because I have league people in here that come over and I'm not here. 
Uh, it also works for, you know, it tells them what course to play. So it'll say, hey, welcome to place, you know, little P big L, which is what I call my simulator here from Family Guy reference. Um, today, you know, this week's course is Scottsdale or whatever. And then, then they know, you know, and it's, it's on the thing too. It's more of a fun thing. It's just kind of cool to have them, to have it say that, you know, Hey, welcome. This is where you're playing. And then at the end, it just kind of reminds them clean up after yourself and then shuts it down. So they don't have to learn, you know, do anything with any of this. They just come in, they play, they know how to click in and set it up. We don't use the voice stuff. It's just more for fun for me to mess around with. I will turn this back on. I will get that code and put it on my website so people can have it and download it for free. And then hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of how I did it. I don't know if it's a good explanation. Hate me all you want. I don't. There's so many good resources out there of people explaining things way better than I do. This is these are the steps. Auto hotkey. So use Chat GPT and other YouTube videos on how to program and use that. Voice attack videos on how to use that. Just adapt it to your simulator. Switch bots. These switch bots are like 29 bucks a piece or something. You can get the set for with the, the two little robot arms and then the, the thing for 69 bucks, whatever, makes it worth it. And then you just set that with your whatever smart device you have in your shop to be able to say, hey, you know, do this or whatever. You know, it explains everything. Any, any smart device, really easy to use. Yeah, that's that's how I do that. I, I'm hoping to do more videos and just get better at explaining and learning as I go. I want to be able to program this. I, I got uh, some mini Raspberry Pis and stuff like that that I want to kind of put in here. I got to 3D print some stuff with, I got the step promoters that will raise all this up, raise, you know, bring it down. Right now, if I pull on a string there, like it raises up, it's just not very good. So there's a lot that I can do. I just haven't yet. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm rambling. So remember, I do it the wrong way, so you don't have to.